All right, welcome everyone to um, our session of Spiritual Questions Answered on September 11th, 2021. All right, my name is Kat, K-E-T Kat. I'm the co-founder of Cody Cat. So um, together with my wife, actually, my wife is Cody. All right, I'm Kat. So together we are known as Cody Cat. And we've been teaching and providing um, services related to subtle energies and spirituality since 2010. All right, so we do a wide variety of things, um, energy reading, energy healings. Um, we even have our very own energy healing modality called Infinity Healing. Um, we teach our very own Qigong called Unity Qigong. And uh, we also do things like um, uh, very normal stuff like teaching people meditation. We have our own proprietary meditation called Light Meditation. And um, tonight I'm here to talk on the topic of Twin Flame Souls. All right, Twin Flame Souls. Now, um, I get some of you are very curious about Twin Flame Souls. Uh, most of you, if you're here, I shall assume that you have heard of it before and you would like to learn more about it. So um, if you do have any questions, um, try to save them for after I have shared with you all what I have to say. Um, you know, I get that you have questions. Uh, try to list, um, if you don't mind, right? Uh, hear what I have to share about Twin Flames first, right? And if what I share still doesn't answer what you would like to know about Twin Flames, by all means, right, uh, type your questions. So bear in mind, this session is being recorded and uh, those who speak will be recorded and uh, we intend to post the recordings up on uh, at least on YouTube and elsewhere. All right. So um, first of all, uh, what are Twin Flames or what are Twin Flame Souls? So a lot of people call them twin flames, twin flame souls, and um, there's a lot that is um, people who are in sp into spirituality, into new age kind of stuff. Um, you might have, you know, or you probably have heard of it, twin flame souls, right? And you all might have Googled it or might have uh, read articles on it written by some people. Now, the question is, how do you know, you know, whether these things are true? Now, of course, the first question you're going to ask is, um, in what way am I qualified, right? In what way am I qualified to answer this question? Okay, so, um, so firstly, right, Cordelia and I have been involved in energy, um, energy related, that means subtle energy related and spirituality work since 2010. Now, um, that's not the main thing. The main thing is um, Cordelia and I are twin flame souls. All right, and um, we know how to tell whether people or a couple, right, or two persons, whether are they twin flame souls, all right? And we do this with our own methods and what we found out um, over the years. So basically, I met Cordelia in 2010, all right? Um, when I met Cordelia in 2010, Cordelia already recovered from her, um, from her ordeal. She, she, was, you know, she was possessed by demons, she was black magic, and she got out of it and she, you know, um, she started to help people and she had a very good understanding of energies and spirituality. And I actually met her and eventually I discovered that I was a twin flame soul. And um, wow, you know, um, and of course, um, like you all probably, right? Um, I Googled, I searched on the internet to try and find out what is this? twin flame soul thing that, um, you know, that many people are talking about and, you know, um, because I found out that I am Cordelia's twin flame soul and of course, I, but Cordelia was the one who told me I had no knowledge of all these things, but um, she, she knew ways to verify it and um, I received all the signs and everything. So I'm going to share with you all a little bit of uh, our experience. Uh, first of all, you know, let's talk a little bit about um, what the internet says. All right, so uh, the internet has a lot of versions, all right, has a lot of versions, but I think by far the most common version is this. Right, so um, I think the most common version is um, there's a creator or there's a god or um, if you would like to be called source, or right, source um, will create souls, all right, will create souls. And um, the idea was that um, the source created a soul 
and this soul, this soul split into two souls. Okay, I'm drawing it as if like um, the Tao symbol, the yin yang symbol, you know, you guys know yin yang? So it's split into two souls and these two souls are supposedly came from one soul, alright? And these two souls are supposed to be twin flames, right? So they kind of, they kind of look like flames, right? Uh, so this is like a flame, one is inverted flame, one is the other flame. So if you look at a Tao symbol or yin yang symbol, it, it does look like a flame. I mean, uh, this one way of uh, portraying it, um, so um, you can see they are like twin flames, two flames, and they came from one, and together as one they are uh, one Tao symbol, one Yin Yang symbol, and they are whole. So um, I think so. There are different variations on the internet, so they may not draw it as this flame, right? But uh, normally the the way they say on the internet is it came from one soul. All right. Now um, and then usually. Usually, um, there is a lot of stories, and twin flame souls are usually put, um, are usually portrayed as men and female, or, or a couple kind of relationship, right? And there will be love, right? There will be love. So um, now I don't know about you all. Um, before I encountered the term twin flame souls or twin flames right, the, 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 the only term right, the only term that I knew when it comes to looking for a partner a life partner is this term soulmate right soulmate and uh, you say you know um, it's a normal person like wow it's like if I can find my soulmate then I'm done but Apparently, right? Apparently, there is a very high level kind of a soul relationship which is called twin flame souls. And uh, so, souls have kind of relationships, and this is like the highest level, highest level between two souls, right? And it's twin flame souls. So, if you know in the new age or spiritual world, right, if they are looking for a life partner, they, you know, soulmate is like, eh, no, soulmate is like low level, all right. Uh, people are going for twin flames, so they're trying to look for the twin flames, right? So um, there is a whole lot of uh, mythology. Um, there's a lot of fantasies, I would say even, right? That you know, once you get to know about this term, um, a lot of people will be like, "Wow, I'm I'm hoping to find my twin flame because it's so romantic, right? It's so romantic that wow, uh, when we were born, we were actually conjoined as one soul, and then um, the creator or the source split us up." And then we went our separate ways and then we have you know through reincarnations and through different lives and we're supposed to try and meet each other in um, different incarnations right now um, this is usually what you find on the internet and i will just tell you in general in general in general most of this is not true all right most of this is not true um Okay, so you know some of you might be reacting, all right, and maybe you think, you know, like, hey, who is this cat? Huh? Uh, what right does he have? All right, um, let me share with you what we have found out. All right, hold your horses. Let me share with you all what we have found out. Now, um, so after I found out about twin flames, right, and that me and Cordelia were twin flames, and we use um energy methods, huh? we have. Uh, because we can read souls, we can read energy, right? Because we do all this energy stuff, we can read energy, read souls, and then we begin to meet other twin flames too, right? So our experience is not just with uh, between Cordelia and myself. We uh, we meet other twin flames. We, in fact, we help people identify, you know, whether they have met their twin flames, right? This is kind of like part of our work. Uh, we don't we don't really advertise it, but because people know that we're into all this energy stuff. And somehow people just get a feeling that, you know, um, because we are a uh, husband and wife team, right? Or male and female before we got married and people would think that naturally, like, hey, are you twin flames? You know, uh, do you, what do you know about twin flames? And then they tell us, they, you know, they think they've met their twin flames and they ask us to verify. 
Now, of course, sometimes the answers come back as yes, and sometimes the answers come back as no, right? And um, so, um, if you ask, ask us to do that, and you know, bear in mind, uh, do you really want to hear a no answer? Okay, <laughs> do you really want to know? Um, but um, it's not so important actually. But let me share with you what the twin flame actually is. So now, um, now if you believe in souls, all right, if you believe in souls, um, this whole topic, you kind of, kind of got to believe in souls. Souls have a source, all right? So, uh, um, and souls are essentially light, all right? It's kind of like invisible light, and there is a source of light. So the source of light will give birth to souls, to lights, different lights. All right, now um, it's a source of all these lights. Now, what the source of light does is, after creating the souls, not long after creating the souls, um, the source will pair up the souls. Will pair up the souls. So, what the source will look out for is like, you know, um. Will, will determine which souls are very compatible with each other. So he does pairing sort of like this. So you try to find, right? Uh, so it's kind of like twin flames. I mean, they don't look like flames, all right? They don't like flames. Firstly, because they are light and they don't necessarily form this. This is like a, you know, this tau symbol and split into two flames. It's, this is like a stylized, you know, uh, stylized uh, depiction or, you know, trying to show people why it's flame and it's like two, you know, two become one, one become two kind of thing. So um, actually it's more like two different souls. Um, all right, it's like two different souls and each pair based on the assessment of the source of light, right, they will be tied sort of permanently to each other. They will be tied permanently to each other um, as in they will recognize each other as their um, other half, right? And this is kind of like a, at the soul level, at the soul level it's like, um, it's kind of, it's really kind of like a permanent marriage of the soul, all right? Now, now it doesn't mean that the souls must stay married in different incarnations, it just means that as souls, that this is the partner, this is the life partner for like eternity, all right? And this is based on the assessment by the source will determine that, oh, you know, um, it's based on energy actually, you know? So it's kind of like this concept, yin yang, symbol concept whereby um, your other half will balance you, will balance you, but you do not come, you are not created as one soul and split into two. You're created separately, but you're joined not long after birth by the source. And of course, um, each will go their different way of incarnations. Right? So sometimes they meet in different incarnations, different lives, sometimes they don't. And there is a lot of factors, right? There are lots of different factors that determine whether you get to meet your twin flame so uh, in your life or not. All right? So, um, now, the thing is this, the next thing is this, um, a lot of people think, right, it's mostly romantic love kind of relationships, right? So what kind of relationships are there? So, um, so Cordelia and I are uh, twin flame souls. Um, in fact, um, um, we have met in our past lives before, all right? We have met in our past lives before and, um, and this point is very important. It's not necessarily always a love relationship. Not necessarily. Um, you can say uh, that there will definitely be incarnations whereby you will be lovers or husband and wife, right? But it can also be possible for different types of relationships. Now, what other kinds of relationships are there? So you can have couple relationships. So let's talk about the twin flame relationships, TF relationship. So of course the first one is couple. So a couple not necessarily male, female, right? Uh, like in the modern world you can male, male, female, female, but uh, I mean love, right? 
as in couples in love in a relationship. So this definitely can be true. All right. So I've past lives with Cordelia, whereby we are couples married or unmarried. I mean, or didn't get married. Like you know, that's one whereby we didn't we didn't get married and have children and family, but we died before that kind of stuff. Um, it can be. Parent child. All right, parent child. So um, yeah. So I have one past life whereby, you know, um, with Cordelia whereby we are a parent child relationship. All right. It can be teacher student. All right, teacher student. So I also have past life with Cordelia, whereby it's a two teacher student relationship. All right, and it can be best friend or or very important friend or. Simply a very important person. I will say this, all right. When your twin flame turns up, right? Typically, usually, usually, that person is a very important person. VIP, very important person in your life. But is it necessary couple and for love relationship for marriage? Not necessarily so. All right, not necessary. So, so um, the of course you know out there in the internet, a lot of people talk about love relationships, and um, they don't just talk about love relationships, right? They talk a lot about the fantasies, and you end up having fantasies. You know, as if like uh, you know when we talk about soulmates. Last time we talk, wow, we find a soulmate. How how awesome, how terrific that would be. You know, uh, a soulmate who uh, accept me as. I am and you know uh, it fits all my you know uh, fits all my checks and you know takes all my boxes whatever I want and then it's same thing you know it's like all perfect and uh, nothing that will be imperfect right now even if you find a twin flame you'll find a twin flame you're meant to have a couple relationship right it will not be like that all right it will not be like that now, before we actually talk about that, um, I want to talk a little bit more about the types of twin, uh, the twin flames, right? So, there are types of twin flames. The first type is what I call the permanent type. All right, and there is a second type which I call the temporary type. All right, um, this is something that we found out. I think not many people know about this, so I would like to share with you all. There is there are um, there are like different classifications. You have a permanent twin flame relationship, and you have a temporary one. Now, uh, what do I mean by that? Okay. Now, if you and your twin flame is at this level, that means from your point of conception, from your point of creation by the source, right, the source of light, and you are bonded together, this, these two are supposed to be permanent twin flames. That means they can go, they can go and reincarnate, they can be separated, right? But you know, no matter what, they are they are bound to each other, and when they are not um, incarnated, um, that means they are not incarnated on earth, they are not in a physical form, right? They are not uh, incarnated as a physical person or physical form, right? When they return to the pure soul form, the pure light form, they are still bonded to each other, and it's still like, you know, um, husband and wife or couple and your life partner for life, it's like permanent. You can't change it because um, your energies are 
are so mutually, you know, so mutually suited for each other. And um, the sauce have uh, helped with that bonding even. So, you know, it's like you wouldn't want any other soul as your partner, as your life partner, right? You know, you wouldn't want it because um, everything at, at the soul level is all about energy. If the energy is not compatible for you, then it just wouldn't work. It's not about whether the person is good looking or sexy or, or rich or whatever. It's not like that. It's all about energy compatibility. And this has been determined from the onset. You cannot run away. So uh, whatever it is, your permanent twin flame, right, is definitely energetically uh, suited to you. Now, then there is a different class which is called a temporary twin flame. All right, temporary twin flame um, I have encountered it quite a number of times, all right, and it's quite interesting. Now, what, what do I mean by temporary twin flame? Now, this, this, let's say this, um, I'm just using an example of two pairs, all right? So they can go down and um, let's say we call this um, A. Okay, let me use a different angle so it's easier to see. A, uh, B, C, D. All right, four souls. So A and B are twin flames. C and D are twin flames. Now let's say, let's say uh, B has reincarnated, has incarnated on her B. So this is B, and uh, C has reincarnated. All right. Now whether A or D are reincarnated is not important but uh, to make it simple let's say a and b are not not reincarnated now b and c right they are incarnated on earth now and they are supposed let's say they are supposed to be a best friend best friend twin flame relationship best friend twin flame relationship okay not necessarily couple so let's make that a couple okay take that back I'll take them back. Okay, let's say they are supposed to be coupled. Okay, it's quite normal. Okay, they are supposed to be couples. Now, the thing is, the thing is, um, B and C might have bad karma with each other. All right, might have bad karma with each other in the past life due to some bad karma. All right, and um, they are supposed to get together as a couple. To repay the karma by being good to each other all right now so um but due to the bad karma right the way that they appear in the physical form is could be as someone which they don't like or someone which they will normally not marry or even consider as a life partner all right let me give you an example let's say b let's say b is a uh, let's say b is male and C is female. Okay, let's say B is male and C is female. All right, let's say due to some past karma, all right, these two are supposed to get together. And let's say the female is older. Older. Why right, is older? So this is just hypothetical, but I've, um, even though it's hypothetical, I've met such a couple. Okay, I know such a couple. All right, let's say. Um, the female is older or the female is older or in a relationship or in a relationship that is dying or that is about to end all right now the male may not want to be to get together with the female because the female is older the female has not ended her relationship or has not finalized divorce or something like that let's say let's say so uh, the male may be someone who's very principled right very principled and you know, i will and uh, you know i will never go for an older woman you know uh, you know and uh, especially one who you know who is not a cleanly divorced but but they need to be together because of their soul contract because of the soul planning right they're meant to be together now what can happen is for this life for this life there can be a temporary twin flame relationship and this will be done by source of light to make arrangement, bond them together. 
right? To bond them together. And with the bond, now this male normally does not like older females. But with the bond, and because the soul contract is for them to marry, eventually marry, right? He will just be like, you know, starstruck or um, um, there's a lot of energy in this bonding that you will, they, they will feel very attracted to each other. The sense of familiar, familiarity is there. Now the bond will cause them to kind of recognize that the other party is someone special to them. And they get sensations and feelings that they cannot get in, in any other relationship with any other person. And this could be something that's totally necessary in order to make B fall in love with C. Because B is the kind of person that will never go for this female. Right? So in some situations, in some situations whereby it is absolutely necessary, whereby it's necessary or according to or what the source of light thinks is fit, there may be a temporary, temporary twin flame relationship. But ultimately, let's say, you know, you can, so this life, they get married and everything, but when, uh, when they die and the souls return, return to home, right? return home, return to heaven, right? B ultimately is still twin flame of A. Right? And C is still twin flame of D because the permanent relationship does not change. But for this particular incarnation on earth, they are temporarily twin flames. All right, They are temporarily twin flames. So they can be permanent and temporary twin flames. And uh, from what we notice, um, now temporary is quite rare. Okay, In general, it's quite rare. And uh, it tends to happen to certain type of people, right? Um, whereby, um, or certain situations whereby it's really necessary to do this, to make a twin flame relationship, to bring people together. All right, otherwise it will not be done. It will be something like this. You know, somehow you need, you need people to fall in love with each other. They need this um, special relationship. All right, and it will be done by the source. All right, okay, let's see. Now, the next question is probably what, is, what are the signs? How do you know? How do you know whether you have met your twin flame? All right, and what are the signs? Um, there is kind of like a signs that will show you, right, before, you, before your twin flame even show up, right, or when your twin flame is showing up, you will get signs. All right, so science. Now, the most important sign. Is this all right? Um, people call it angel number, right? You will see angel numbers, and usually you will see doubles. So you can see two, two, three, three, and all that. But normally, normally, if it is a twin flame, right? Your number that you should see is 11, 11, 1, 1, 1, 1. All right. And you don't know why, but you know, every now and then you look at your watch is 11, 11. Um, and somehow you just take note of this number. Like subconsciously, right? Somehow you will just turn and you will see this number, turn and see this number, right? 11, 11. So this is um, usually the number one sign of having um, um, having met or about to meet. So normally before your twin flame turns up, right, or even after it turns up, you will, you will get to see a lot of this. So it's kind of like telling you, you know, um, a, a very important person in your life has 
turn up or it's turning up and you got to be like ready right look up for it okay so this is the um, usually the number one sign and um, on the internet they talk a lot about other things all right they talk about other things they talk about what the relationship is like and so on and so forth all right um i don't think those really qualify as signs there is a second sign there is a second sign um but i will not reveal here right but i will tell you i will give a hint and uh, normally i don't reveal this because um this first information is very common and I will tell you why I don't reveal towards uh, later part of this uh, sharing. All right. Now, um, this first sign is quite well known. I think some internet uh, or some websites or a lot of sharing, they will talk about this sign. And it is true. It is true. Okay, I was surprised. This part is true. Right? I started to see a lot of 11s and I get a lot of uh, these signs, right? And there is another sign, which is a... heart sensation all right there is a certain heart sensation now this heart sensation will happen after the twin flame after the two twin flames meet and there is what we call a soul recognition soul recognition or it sets off the energy in motion so it's like so let's say b and c they have never met each other, right? So suddenly they meet each other. Before meeting each other, they start to see 11, 11. And after they meet each other, let's say after they have a meal together, or after they have a significant contact, whereby, you know, um, the, the soul contract starts to activate, right? The soul will activate the, this, twin flame bond will start to activate. So the twin flame bond at first is dormant. At first it's dormant, but it will pull, it will pull you together. You can be at different parts of the world. And if you, if you happen to know twin flame, real twin flames like we do, right? Um, I've got amazing stories. Right? There's like twin flames who met one in India, one in, uh, um, in Ukraine, and they meet in some place. It's like, wow, you know, for them to come across the mouse to, to meet each other at a particular place a lot of arrangement needs to be made right and when when they meet then the bond at first is dormant right then it will be activated when there's an activation there will be a heart sensation now this heart sensation is heart chakra sensation what kind of sensation i will not tell you all right but if you have this 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 and then you have a certain heart chakra sensation and you feel it right um you can come and double check with me all right then i will tell you i don't intend to reveal this sensation but if you know this sensation and you say it right without even checking uh without you having to pay a consultation right, energy reading consultation i i can tell you if you have this sensation very likely you have met your twin flame all right usually these are the two very reliable signs very reliable now um there is a third sign all right there's a third confirmation now the the third confirmation so basically i'm um sharing with you how to tell all right how to tell um, whether you really have met your twin flame, all right? Whether you really met your twin flame. Um, so on the internet, they say a lot of things, what the relationship is like, there'll be immense, yeah, uh, usually the internet says there'll be immense attraction, yet there'll be immense, uh, it's like a love-hate relationship and you, you, like, you can't get enough of each other, yet you, there are things you can't stand about each other. Now, um, those kind of things don't just happen to twin flame couples. They happen to any couple, any pair of best friends, right? Uh, any, any two people who are close together. It happens quite normally, 
all right? You like each other very much, and yet there are things that you can't stand about each other. And this normally happens when you really become close, all right? So now there's a third thing. There's a third thing. Um, but the third thing is not something that everybody can do. But for some of you, you will be able, you will be able to, um, you will be able to verify this. Okay, so this is referring to, I don't mind if I write a bit shorthand. Perm again is permanent, all right? Permanent energy cause. E is energy, permanent energy cause. Now, um, at the point of uh, conception, creation, and the twinning, right? The source of light will twin. There will be permanent energy cause, all right? Between the two souls, and this cause cannot, cannot be cut. cannot be cut. Now, um, this is why I say not everyone can verify this, but if you're into energy healing, you know about energy healing, you know about how to cut energy cords, right? Now, for twin flames, the energy cords between them are permanent. It cannot be cut. So if you are if you are an energy healer, if you know how to cut cords and you try to cut and you cut and you know, it's kind of you cut in the katang, katang, tang, 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 and you find that you cannot cut the cord between you and that person, right? And uh, if your level is very high, your energy level is very high, you boost your energy level until very high and you tang, and you still cannot tang, you boost, 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 boost your level and you still cannot, you know, because uh, at low levels, if you can't cut the cord, it's, it's quite normal because your energy level is not high enough. But if you know how to boost your energy levels very high, for example, like doing you unity chico or doing light meditation, you boost your energy levels very high, and you try to cut and pong, 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 right? And you still cannot cut after doing a few hours of unity chico and light meditation, and you still cannot cut. Then you know, all right, very likely that person is your twin flame, and especially when there's a heart chakra sensation, certain heart chakra sensation. All right, and you've been seeing 11, 11, the double sign. All right, so um, the energy cost cannot be cut. Now, here I use the term permanent. So permanent refers to this one life. Even if you are a temporary twin flame, for this life, for this life, the bonding, the energy cost cannot be cut. Cannot be cut. It, you can't cut it, a uh, very high level healer can't, it, can't cut it, for example, Let's say you think that your level is not high enough, so you go to an energy healer who's, or a spiritual teacher or whose energy level is very high and ask the person to cut and the person say cannot cut, right? Uh, uh, those of you who are into energy cords, you know, um, when you think of each other and everything, all right, uh, energy cords will form. Now, so that is the reason why when there are the twin flame cords, the cords are so strong, right? And you can't help but think about each other. Right, and that's why you end up being with each other. So it's just a matter of what kind of relationship you're meant to have in the life. All right, um, again, not necessarily couple, but I'm using some couple examples because I've seen this happen. All right, I've seen this happen. Um, yeah, okay, so um, the energy cords cannot be cut. Now, this is the main thing. All right, so what else? Um, you all need to know, all right? Now, um, I need to let you all know why I cannot reveal everything, okay? Because, because there is, um, it's not always that when the 11-11 sign appears, and uh, even if you have energy cords that cannot be cut, right? It does not necessarily mean that you have met your twin flame, all right? Now, what do I mean by that? <clears throat> so that's why I'm uh, keeping this part secret, all right, I'm keeping this part secret. I don't want it to be common knowledge because this will be out on YouTube and uh, maybe Facebook, you know, uh, and people might forward this video around. 
Now, the thing is this. The twin flames are supposed to be between souls of light. Alright, are supposed to be between souls of light. Now, um, I hope you don't mind me mentioning. Now, there are evil spirits in this world. Alright, there are evil spirits in this world. Um, so Cordelia and I become a form of background whereby we help people deal with evil spirits, black magic, that kind of stuff. Alright, so um, they are real. They are real. And Cordelia herself was possessed by a demon and she was black magic. Alright, so these things are real. Um, now, the thing is this. Evil spirits can give you the double 11 signs. Alright, evil spirits can do that. If they want you to be with a certain person and... This knowledge is so common in the spiritual world, in the New Age world. The, the, the spiritual world, the spirits also know of it. Let's say, you know, they want you to be together with someone who is possessed, you know, who has a lot of evil spirits with them. The evil spirits from that person want you to be with him or her. They can try to manipulate things to make you see double 11 signs. And they can create energy cords, right, between you and that person. And if your level energy levels are very low, you cannot cut it. It does not mean that those cords cannot be cut. It just means that you, at your level, you can't cut it. And that's why I would say, you know, if you really want to test this, right, uh, for those of you who are, who, who are our regulars, if you, you know that if you do enough unity chico and light meditation, you will boost your energy levels and you have been learning infinity healing from us, you'll be learning advanced cord cutting methods, for example. And if all this and you still cannot be cut, then yes, but for most normal people, they learn very um, basic and rudimentary cord cutting methods, all right? And if your energy level is not high, it's not boosted, and you can't cut, it does not mean that those are actually permanent energy cords that are created by the source. Now, when the source creates permanent energy cords, right, no one else but the source can cut the cords. End of story. No one else except the source can cut the cords, right? But Evil spirits, they can be very powerful. It can be demons or something like that. They are very powerful, right? And they are definitely more powerful than most normal people. They can, they can fake this to get you to go to someone that you're not supposed to go to and they can fake this. But this one, number two, normally cannot be faked. So I'm not revealing this, but if you get this or whatever, right? And uh, um, get certain heart chakra sensation or what, you can, you can consult this. All right, so um, this is the reason Right? Why uh, I don't want to reveal this. So um, even if you get all these signs, it does not necessarily mean you have actually met your twin flame. All right. So we have encountered people whereby they get these signs, right? They get these signs and it is manipulation by evil spirits. It's not their real twin flame because the person cannot cut the energy cords. But for us, Cordelia and I, we can just check and it's cut, gone. And then uh, we can read the energy and the energy is not of light because if it is really done by the source of light the cords are light the cords are made of light pure light all right very strong pure positive energy is light but those done by evil spirits will of course be dark and it's not pure right, so we can differentiate all this but um, uh, normal people they can't all right so um you got to beware that now um I think uh, you all also want to ask, uh, what is the twin flame relationship like? All right, and um, I will share with you all, all right, uh, based on uh, what I know, <laughs> what I've gone through in this life, and what I know of uh, like the past lives, all right, between Cordelia and I even, okay? So now, what they say on the internet about twin flame relationships being a huge, um, uh, very strong attraction, and yet there's a strong repulsion uh, and it can be going to love hate um, and um, usually quite a lot of people cannot take it so quite a lot of people cannot take it usually um, although there's immense attraction there is also immense repulsion and um, and most people can cannot make it most twin flame relations cannot make it because most people don't understand what the twin flame bonding is for all right they don't understand what the twin flame bonding is for 
So I will share with you what the twin flame bonding is for. Then you get why the relationships are like that. Hang on while I charge my uh, device. Now, twin flames, twin flames are actually somewhat like this. All right, they're somewhat like this. They are like the yin yang tau symbol. They kind of match each other. Um, although they do not come from the same soul, they do not come from the same soul. They come from the same source, yes, come from the same source of life, but they're not one soul split into two. But the two souls are so compatible. They, they are almost practically like this. They are almost practically like this earlier example. Just that they were not originally one soul and split into two consciousness. All right. They are two discrete, two separate consciousness. But they are so well matched, they form this. Oh, they kind of like this. They really balance each other out. Now, so when they really balance each other out, you understand the Tao symbol, right? So one, one will be, you know, um, like, Dark and then you have dark in white, black in white, white in black, and they are complete, uh, complete polar opposites. Now, so they can complement each other, and they are perfect complement. There will be similarity. So the white will see the similarity of itself in the black. The black will see similarity in itself in the white. So you see your similarity in your twin flame. The twin flame will see similarity in you, and that can be very attractive. Um, you, you know, if you all have a um, relationship experience, when you first go into relationship, differences are so attractive, isn't it? You find differences are so interesting. Oh, the person is so different, it's so interesting. Right? That is before you get together. And when you get together, differences is no fun. All right? When you get together, differences are no fun. <laughs> okay? And especially when you live with each other, it becomes like, Wow, it's a big test, you know, on your level of acceptance and um, whether you can you take it and whether can you let go of all these differences. So what twin flame relationships are for is that the source have bound two souls because they are so different yet so suitable, so complementing each other, and that if Basically, you have white, white on one hand and black on one hand. All right, so one is white, one is black. I'm just simplifying. Okay, one white and one black. Okay, I'm simplifying, simplifying it. If white can accept black, if black can accept white, right? If these two can come together, they can accept each other and they can let go of all the differences, they can come together in love. These two persons, these two souls, if white can accept black, if black can accept white, that means they can accept everything in between, all the different shades of grey in between. Do, do you all get what I mean? So you start off with you start with white and black. So in between here, will be shades of shades of grey, right? Darker and darker grey. If white can accept black, if black can accept white, that means they can accept anything in between. So if these two souls, they can accept each other, if they can live with each other, if they can love each other unconditionally, accept each other unconditionally, they will also be capable of loving the world. They will also be capable of being like the source, being as loving, as accepting, as kind, as, as forgiving. Now this twin flame relationship is to help two souls evolve. The key point here is to evolve higher in light to evolve higher in love, to evolve higher in acceptance. This is what it's about. Alright? So, yes, 
because you are so opposite each other and the attraction is so the attraction due to the bond due to the bond right the twin flame bond the permanent energy cause it will cause you to be so attracted so difficult to forget the other person you um they always talk about you know you want to break out but then you you break out and then you come back together you break up and then you come back together kind of thing all right you just can't have a complete break until you you know you really tell yourself that you can't take it anymore right this person is just too different and then the twin flame um the relationship the contract doesn't work out for this life it does happen and usually it's because people cannot understand it is about polar opposites trying to accept each other each other for evolution to evolve higher in light higher in love all right so um this is the purpose of twin flame souls twin flame relationships all right now having said and shared all this about twin flames even if it is not a twin flame relationship any normal couple relationship husband and wife boyfriend girlfriend or boyfriend boyfriend girlfriend girlfriend or whichever combination now, it doesn't really matter that you need to look for your twin flame now your twin flame might not might not have uh, incarnated on earth at the same time as you but as long as you're in a relationship this this thing this thing still holds trying to accept one another and if you can accept one another you will evolve you will become better people your other half whether twin flame or not is meant to teach you something teach you acceptance teach you to let go teach you to forgive teach you to love regardless whether it's a twin flame or not all right and i must advise you all right uh, even though you've learned about this right um if you're married don't just ditch <laughs> just don't ditch your particular relationship trying to um, look for your twin flame based on all this right it's, it's not say very practical but if it's meant to happen it will happen and the signs will be there right um almost without fail the signs will be there the only thing is um, um for us we do check whether is it really by is it done by the done by heaven the source of light or could be a deception by evil spirits we have seen cases like that before also all right so um i'll take your questions if you have any questions please feel free to ask if you would like to use the mic please bear in mind you will be recorded and this recorder uh, recording will be used right uh, either on youtube or elsewhere otherwise you can just chat all right use a chat let me go through your questions Emily is asking, is yin yang butterfly couple considered permanent twin flame? Um, I've not heard of yin yang butterfly couple before, so I can't answer that. All right, uh, Eileen is saying, 11 11 sale coming up <laughs> in November. All right, um, Isudi is asking, can we buy our twin flame on that day? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> okay, all these jokes about 11 11, no. Um, Jenny is asking, what? if not meeting twin flame and got married it doesn't matter right um meeting twin flames can be very rare all right um so um sometimes the twin flames they don't always come down together and there are different um there are different conditions right sometimes um if you have for example um some people they they came down together they found each other and they make a vow you know some uh, and uh, it doesn't matter whether you're twin flames or not. For example, let's say you love your husband or wife very much and then you make a vow like, I want to be with you together again in the next life, right? That is a vow and the vow can be binding on your soul such that in the future life, you will meet the same soul again, right? To fulfill that vow. Now, and the vow will, will be fulfilled whether or not you are twin flames, right? So don't go um, making vows any old how all right don't anyhow make vows so uh, for example some twin flames may make that vow and then they meet again and again because they keep on making that vow for example and some they may have made a stupid vow like i don't ever want to see you again especially not in my future life i hope that i don't ever see you and you say it to your twin flame and it's like oh no you know so it's like you the the the, the twin flame bond will bring you together 
the attraction will happen, but due to your vow, right, there will be lots of conflict and uh, it, it will be very difficult to get together. But if you manage to get together, then you can break that uh, negative vow, all right? Uh, things like that can happen. Okay. Um, iPhone is asking, what are some specific heart chakra sensation symptoms? So I can't, spe I can't specify that, okay? I can't specify that, I explain why already. Um, So someone, um, private message, he said, when first met, felt like one tears. The funny thing is, I don't know why I want tears to a stranger. Uh, after getting to know each, each other, I feel so stupid that he contained source all sorts of character that totally opposite of me. I hate it at earlier stage. Um, yes, so it can happen like that, all right? Because you're totally polar opposites and the attraction is immense. Now, if you suspect uh, yourself to admit a twin flame bear in mind whether do you have um, these three things going on for you, okay? Um, iPhone says, love that. Twin flames are intended for souls to evolve, growing the capability to love the whole world unconditionally. Yes, it is, all right? And, um, all right, so uh, I think that gives you a hint, right? Uh, Cordelia and I are two very different persons, <laughs> all right? Two very different persons. Uh, those of you who know us personally, um, I think uh, you all have, uh, you, you would know, right? You would know we are very different and yet um, um, Cordelia and I have uh, worked out a lot of differences with each other. So um, I, I really see this, or I really see this, okay? I mean, Cordelia is a very good person, get, don't get me wrong, but if I can accept her, I can really accept a lot of things, <laughs> okay? I mean, it's not to say that she's bad or whatever, but she's so opposite me. Then when I first met her and, you know, and we got together, it's like, oh, I just, okay, I'm just being honest. I just can't, sometimes I just can't take it. Okay, I just can't take it. <laughs> she's so different and she, sometimes she just can't take me either. All right, but we are bound together. We are bound together by a cause, um, you know, and um, of course we, we are bound together by our work and our our common goal to help people, for example. So um, ultimately, love wins, goodness wins, and we're still together. And uh, having been through what we've been through, um, I don't think we'll, you know, um, the differences will, will, will cause problems with, between us again. But um, it was difficult at the start. And I can totally understand when people talk about their suspected twin flame relationships. But the only thing is this, a lot of people talk about their suspected twin flame relationships and it doesn't sound any different from most normal relationships anyway. All right, it doesn't sound very different. But for us, we, we really have our methods, right? These are the main methods. And um, um, we, we, in addition to this, we can do energy reading uh, for advanced stuff to, to double check on this, okay? So um, Haley, are there twin flame cells who are extremely similar to each other? Uh, Haley is asking now if they're really extremely similar I I can tell you this most likely not twin flame okay um I will share with you one more thing okay one more thing now this is twin flame okay there is another relationship which is one level lower than twin flames all right um I don't need to spend much time talking about it but um, a lot of people mistake this relationship for twin flame souls because it is actually called near twin, near twin flame, almost like twin flame, okay? And this twin flame, this near twin flame will not have all these signs. Will not have all these signs. All this does not apply. There's no permanent cord. There's no special heart chakra sensation. There is no 11, 11 sign. You might get two, two, three, three. You get the doubles. You can get the doubles when you are almost meeting your near twin. All right. But you don't get one, 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 one. One, 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 one is like practically reserved for your twin flame. You might get doubles as in two, 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 right? 22, 22, 33, 33. Then you're about to meet your near twin flame. Now, near twin flames will not be com very opposite. All right, but if you're really meeting a twin flame, 
um, for our most accounts, right, there will be things that you just absolutely cannot stand. You cannot take. All right, you absolutely cannot take. It's like white and black meeting, and that is like yuck. I mean, something like that. You just can't take it. Okay, so um, uh, if you have a situation whereby it sounds like twin flame, but um, very similar to each other, chances are it could be a near twin flame, or you're meeting uh, one of your soulmates, or you could be meeting one of your soulmates, but not not twin flame. All right. So John is asking, what's the difference between twin flame and soulmates? Now, twin flame, there's only one. There is only one. Permanent one, there's only one. All right, permanent one, there's only one. And um, you might have um, temporary one in different life. You can have um, temporary ones, but permanent one, you can only have one. Soulmates, you can have more than one soulmates. That's a different uh, soul relationship altogether. So not everyone will meet their twin flame in, their, in this life. Yes, some people don't meet their twin flames and some people, they can go through many incarnations and don't meet their twin flame, especially if they made a vow like, I don't ever want to see you again, kind of thing, right? So don't say things like that. You never know that your, your, your enemy, right, or someone who's testing you, it could be your twin flame, uh, but in a different setting, in a very important person, it could be a benefactor, it could be a, sometimes even your enemy who's supposed to turn best friend or benefactor. It's very strange, all right? So not necessary. So it, um, it, it will have a love-hate kind of thing, okay? And um, not necessary couple. John is asking, when one of the soul is destroyed, what happened to the other twin flame? Um, the other twin flame is not destroyed, then it's fine, right? Just one soul is destroyed, then the other is left hanging. Then I think it will be up to the source of light whether to find another replacement. Um, but it's, it's not easy. It's normally at the point of creation. Uh, but these side of things, uh, who knows? You've got to ask the source, right? So, um, Yuki is saying, if there's no heartburn sensation, but you you both so sure about it, both his couple past life, the feeling was so strong. Um, no, if you have, if you don't have this sensation, it's not a twin flame. I can almost guarantee you it's not a twin flame, but it is near twin or soulmates, or it's just that you have been couples in many past life. It does not necessarily mean that you're twin flame. Um, so for us, Cordelia and I, we take the we we can actually be sure that whether two people are twin flames or not but for a lot of people they just read the stuff on the internet and they have a lot of fantasy idea and they get all these sensations and everything now that could be due to um your karma your past life karma with each other uh, a lot of bonding a lot of uh, history in past life brought down to this life and you know and it can happen. You have a lot of strong sensations, but it's not necessary to inflame. And I've met people that they go through, um, uh, because they have very strong love karma, they go through different relationships with different people. And each time, you know, the person thought that, oh, this is the twin flame, twin flame. But until he or she finally met the actual twin flame, each time before that, it was so sure it must be the twin flame, but actually it's not. And when finally meet the twin flame, All three signs must be out now of course normal people might not be able to confirm all right but the one 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 is very easy to confirm right um uh, permanent energy cause is those people who are into energy then you can confirm um the second one heart chakra sensation so a lot of people get heart chakra sensation but it depends what kind of sensation are you are getting all right so um uh, you can say heartburn no heartburn 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 is painful right uh, in painful or like a gastric no 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 it's not that okay um kevin saying i was seeing 11 11 doubles for past three years or so but still single until now lately been seeing less doubles but more on doubles two three two three four five four five inverted doubles and two three two um so all those uh different doubles uh they have a different significance all right um now you can get the sign of this one right and you're supposed to meet and sometimes due to free will, you might have screwed up. You might have screwed up and then you didn't get together with the person. It could be you got together with the person, but you broke up in a relationship. 
So you got to ask yourself like, uh, past three years, do you get into a relationship and then you break up with someone? That could be your, could have been your twin flame. And then once you broke up, then the other person and you like kind of make an internal, some people will make an internal uh, vow. Uh, okay, I'm never going back to this person again. And then so end of story, right? So uh, you got to ask yourself in, the, in those time, those past three years, did you meet anyone? Or sometimes it could be you're supposed to meet, but then you decided not to. All right. And um, it's, it's, it's um, all right. So for example, there's a case, there's a case okay, that I know someone who is unsure of his gender identity. Okay. There's someone who, who could be bi, okay. Who could be bi. Okay. So there's someone who could be bi and he was leaning towards gay. All right. But he met his twin flame and because he, uh, because he knows energy and all this, right? He, he actually uh, consulted uh, Cordelia and I, because he met someone and he thought that someone is twin flame and that someone is a her, it's a her, but he's leaning towards gay, right? And it got him so conflicted that he just abandoned it. He didn't even approach her because he was leaning towards gay. Now, what does this tell us? It tells us that he's so planning, he's supposed to get together with a female, but in his past, in his present life, he might have made some decisions which caused, caused him to lean towards being gay. But it just shows that he's supposed to be, um, you know, supposed to be normal, supposed to be in a normal relationship. It's not supposed to be gay. So by free will, we can change our fate. All right. Now, uh, this does not mean that, uh, okay, get it straight. This does not mean that your twin flame must always be off. Uh, if this couple must always be opposite gender. No, if you're meant to be gay, then your twin flame will be, will be, uh, will be of the same gender. All right. And I've uh, met, for example, uh, people who have met, uh, who are uh, lesbians, they found each other, for example, and they are twin flames. All right. And uh, they tell the story is like uh, the females they, they try with men relationship with men but relationship with men doesn't work out and somehow they found each other and they clicked and then you know all the time they were having normal relationships and suddenly they met each other and then they decided to be in a you know female lesbian relationship and it's their first female lesbian relationship right and it turns out yeah that, that was the soul planning for them they're, they're meant to have bad experiences with men and then they find each other so, um, so we don't judge, okay? We don't judge, and it's true. Heaven don't judge. Or heaven takes into account that uh, there are people who, who are supposed to be, you know, uh, gays and lesbians. All right. So John says, so can twin flames can still irritate each other? Yes. Can any soul destined to be alone without twin flame? No. Uh, any soul when you're born, you're already designated a twin flame. But when you are incarnated, your twin flame need not necessarily come down together with you. All right. Uh, Cindy is saying, I definitely don't want to die single waiting for my twin flame. If he comes late, it is his loss. Yes, that's, that's right. Okay. Uh, don't worry. If you're meant to be with that twin flame, the opportunity will be given for you to meet, but you have the free will whether to go with the person or not. A free will is always given. If you're not sure what is free will, um, uh, take a look at our YouTube channel. All right, uh, youtube.com slash c slash codicat. I just posted last month's talk on free will versus destiny. All right, we talk a little bit about this soul planning kind of stuff, right? Free will versus uh, soul planning versus destiny. So Izudin, can I just clarify that twin flames may not necessarily be life partners. Would, it, would that explain why we meet someone only for the person to guide us to a certain direction, then leave us? Um, Izudin, usually, uh, the twin flame is a very important person in your life and it's meant to be in your life for a long time. It's not those that come in and go out. No. So come in and go out can be a benefactor, it can be different soul arrangement, but a twin flame is someone that is meant to be in your life for as long as possible to help, to help you evolve. Now the only reason that the twin flame gets out of your life is because you cannot stand each other and you give each other the boot. You kick the person out of your life. But if you meet your twin flame, the twin flame can be any kind of relationship, right? But whatever it is, it is a very important person in your life. It's meant to help you evolve, to become more accepting 
more loving. All right, that is the purpose of a twin flame. Stefan, somehow I believe nature to reproduce, create all these stories. Uh, I have a feeling I met someone who is for life, but somehow things went completely off. Yes, Stefan, so sometimes it happens like that, all right? So, um, Edwin says nothing is permanent. Permanent twin flame will also not be permanent one day. Um, now, Edwin, if, if, if it's at this level, at the point of creation, conception, if it's permanent, it's normally permanent for eternity until one of the soul is destroyed or something. All right, um, but normally the souls don't get destroyed. That's very rare. All right, so it's actually permanent until the souls, for example, uh, souls are supposed to merge back with the source. If you merge back with the source, then of course the twin flame ends. So in the sense, it may not necessarily be permanent, but uh, it is quite permanent in the normal human uh, idea because the souls can have thousands, hundreds, and thousands of lives, right? Um, and um, that is way more than our one lifetime as a human, which is, you know, maybe 100 years is quite a lot already. Now, um, I mean, it's asking, is twin flame only male, female, not male, male, female, female? I believe I answered the question. So um, um, it can be with gay relationships also. So Taps is asking, does every soul have a twin flame? Yes. Every soul has a twin flame. One point of conception, right, you have. But whether in this life, in your particular incarnation, whether did your twin flame come down and incarnate at the same time, that's a separate question. All right, not necessarily so, but definitely you have a permanent twin flame that is connected to your soul. So uh, Sarah is asking who designs this twin flame thing? The source? Yes, the source design. All right, it's designed by the source. It's, it's, a, it's a very wonderful design. All right. So I believe I've answered um, every question that you all have. Do you all, does anyone have any last minute question? All right. If there are none, I thank you everyone for joining me. All right. I will be, um, if the recording, everything is good with the recording, if it's posted uh, sometime like one month later. Thank you for joining me. If you feel you've gained some value, please do um, make a contribution to, to help us with our online sessions. If you cannot afford to make a donation, that is fine also. So I hope to see you all. If you're interested in other activities like light meditation, we have light meditation tomorrow night, all right? Or any of the meditation sessions. Thank you and have a good day, a good night.